The Xbox is without a doubt a great gaming console, but since the Xbox One, it has also presented itself as a more than decent media player to watch movies and TV shows. In order to give you that media player feeling with easy controls, PDP Gaming has made an officially licensed Xbox Remote Control to improve your user experience even more. But how does it exactly work? Does it have any unique features? Can you game on it? And is it worth your time and money? My name is RobinB360 and welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe to see more similar content. Now let's continue. First of all, what does this product claim to do? According to PDP Gaming's website, they stated the following. No more fumbling for the right button on the controller to pause your movie. Get quick and simple access to all your favorite movies, TV shows, music, videos, and apps with the PDP Gaming Remote for Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. So I've tested this on both the Xbox Series X and Xbox One, and it connects without any trouble. You just got to put in two AA batteries and press the Xbox button. You even get asked to use the remote to control your sound system and TV, which is a nice feature, because now you don't have to switch between multiple remotes. Just make sure your sound system or TV is connected through an HDMI CEC port or else it won't work. Looking at the ergonomics, the thing that stands out here is that the PDP gaming remote is fairly slim, and the backside has a slightly curved shape so it fits nicely into your hands. The controls are pretty basic. You have the Xbox button to turn your Xbox on or off, the menu button to return to the menu, arrow buttons and an OK or enter button to confirm your action, a play button, a pause button, a rewind forward and backwards button, which you don't have on the Xbox controller, a volume up and down button to control the sound, a back button to return to the previous screen, a mute button and the basic A, B, X and Y buttons. They all have a slightly mushy feeling as opposed to the Xbox button, which is a bit harder. All the buttons do work, but I notice that sometimes you have to press the button harder in order to work, which takes a bit away from the positive user experience. Some buttons I'm missing on the controls are a dedicated Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, or HBO Max button, like on other modern remote controls. But if you go to the Xbox Media Remote settings at Devices and Connections, you can change the function of the One Guide button, for example, to launch an app like Netflix, which might be an even better option. So which feature does the PDP Gaming Remote have? Well, I already mentioned that you can use it for your entire media system, so you can command your sound system and TV with one single remote. In case you want to use it on a projector, this doesn't work as I have tried it on my 4K BenQ projector. The cool thing is that all the buttons light up when you press them, which is nice when you are watching movies in the dark, so you can easily see which button you pressed. It's not as good as on my BenQ remote, but still, this is a feature all remotes should have, in my opinion. I also tried to game on the PDP Gaming Remote, as it has arrow buttons, the A, B, X and Y buttons, and it has the word gaming on it. But unfortunately, this remote is not recognized as an Xbox controller. So if you had the same idea like me, this doesn't work. But it would still be cool if you could use it as a backup controller. But the play, pause and rewind buttons work as you would expect from them and give you a little bit more control over your movies than a normal Xbox controller, which is nice. It would be great if they could add some sort of a mouse pointer in a future model, like on the LG OLED remotes, which I think is a fantastic feature. So how is the precision? The thing I noticed is that when you use it for your sound system, there is a lag when using it. So the performance isn't consistent, which is a bummer. But other than that, the precision is quite nice because you don't have to sit close to your Xbox and point directly to it for the PDP gaming remote to work. Looking at the battery life, it is the same as on a normal remote control, so you don't have to swap out the batteries anytime soon. But what about the competition? There are other remote controls on the market for the Xbox, like the Media Remote from 8BitDo or the Xbox One Media Remote. Besides the small price differences, there are some other differences to point out. For example, the 8BitDo has more buttons which you probably won't use, but it also makes it a bit larger. This could be better for you if you have big hands, but the PDP gaming remote has the perfect size in my opinion. The Xbox One media remote is comparable with the PDP gaming remote, 
but is only compatible with the Xbox One. I swear the PDP gaming remote is also compatible with the Xbox Series X and S, so you will be prepared for the future. So who is this product for? And is the price reasonable? If you game a lot and you know your controller well, you probably won't need the PDP gaming remote unless you want to use your Xbox Series X or S easily when you want to watch a movie or a TV show, or if you want to use an old Xbox One as a media machine. But it could also be for a family member or partner that isn't handy with the Xbox controller, but still want to use your Xbox to watch movies or TV shows. Even though there are some small improvement points, I think for $20 or euros it is worth its price if you want some extra comfort when watching a movie. Sometimes it's even on a discount and you can get the PDP gaming remote for a bit above $10 or euros. So then it can be a great addition to your Xbox console. So what do you think about this remote? Is it something you might buy for yourself or someone else? Or is it a waste of your time and money? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to support me and see more similar content. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.